You, yeah. you know, uh, I got a couple of questions because you dropped so much right there. I, I should have asked you this earlier, and, I, and I'm trying to have this conversation, but I'm also thinking about somebody looking on the outside that, that's trying to learn. Um, a, a season manager, what percentage are they getting versus a new entry-level manager? So management, beginner, vet, 20% is the standard. You take 20% of the gross income. Bigger managers will do, like if you have a manager and you go to a big manager so that you can keep your manager because you love your manager, but he needs some help. Sometimes you can get a bigger manager to do a 10-10 split with you. Um, some managers, as they're with their artists a long time and you make a lot of money, they go down from 20% to say 15 to 10. Like, oh, we've been doing this a decade together. We'd have made a shitload of money. And, you know, I'm not having to do the same work I did in year one and three. So I'll drop my commission down to 12% or 10%. So it's it's a very variable thing, the management game. Um, sometimes you have to adjust your management commission whether you want to or not. Sometimes you get an artist on the road, you tell them they were going to make a million dollars, they spent more money than they spent, and when it's all said and done, they're getting 300000 Well, if your commission check is also 300000 and they're only making 300000 and you take that 300000 <laughs> <laughs> you you're going to have some problems. So sometimes it's smarter to take a step back and go, you know what? You should have made a half million on this tour or whatever. So I'm going to take 150 and I'm going to give you, like, we're going to give you 150 because you were out there doing the best show you could, blah, blah, blah. And then you make the business manager take off five and you get everybody to take a hit so that artist feels better about themselves for the tour. That's not in any management book. That's not in anything you're going to learn. That's you. That's a feeling and, and, and something that, you know, smart managers know. That's how you keep your artists happy. I've seen managers not budge. I, I can leave, I can give an example of a manager of like the Backstreet Boys or one of them. They did this big world tour, but on the tour, they were balling. Everyone had their own bus. Then they'd be leaving their buses, taking private planes. Then they were wrecking suites. So what was the tour when they came home? Let's say they made 20 million gross. By the time everything was done, each member might have only been taking home a million. But since it was a $20 million tour, the manager technically should have made $4 million. You can't take four and the group only takes four because you're like, well, the group took four, I took my four. No, your members took a million each. So they looking at you crazy when you take that four. Now people want to audit what your numbers look like. It's just, you know what I'm saying? You got to be smart. You got to have some sense of, of your personnel. But that's gotcha. just management. If somebody's looking in, my the reason I brought that up is you have to be flexible based on the situation sometimes. And your goal can't just be to get your 20%. That's it. Sometimes your 20% is going to be 10% because your artist is spending more and you just got to teach them how not to spend or you got to teach, you got to, you know, it's, it's about educating artists as well. The smarter your artist is usually the better your relationship is going to go because when they understand their space, in the game and in the world, then it's easier for you to, you as a team to work to getting to different levels. You can, you can figure out, Latif is a perfect example. I, I, I love the Shaquem and Latif relationship. I love how for 30 years they've had each other's back and if one is in the room, it might as well be the both of them in the room. And they, they know how to, to play off each other. They know when they're on the same page. If Dana's in the room with the president of Univision, then Dana's going to bring up Flavian and TV. And then she's going to trust that Shaquem got something in the can for them to give to Flavian and TV to give to Univision. That's how they work. And that's why they, that's why Dana's got the number one show in the world right now with the equalizer, because yep. somewhere in there they got in rooms and they worked that. So I think that you have to know your, your, your partners and you have to, if you can educate them. Some people don't want to be educated. There are a lot of artists that just want to rap, Get hoes, drink liquor, get high, remix. You got to know who that artist is. And if that artist isn't willing to do more, then you can't sit around and be like, oh, I'm about to make this dude Drake. Because Drake works. Drake puts it in work. He enjoys himself, but he works. Oh, I'm going to make this person Jay-Z. 
Are you? Because Jay works, and Jay maintains a certain amount of excellence. So, so I, that's why I go back to you. Got to be honest about who your client is, yeah. not who they say they want to be, not who they say they are. But you need to be able to say that's who my client really is, and manage that person. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.